Everyone knows Meek Mill. He was a part of one of the biggest rap beefs in the last 10 years. He's the rapper behind the Philly song, Dreams and Nightmares. He made Rico and Going Bad. He's the guy who eats french fries in the pool and falls down the stairs at his mom's house. But if I had to summarize Meek Mill's career, he's the rapper that everyone knows, but I don't know anybody that really loves him. Like, yeah, he's a Philly icon, at least he was until recently, and he does have some bangers out. But in my experience, Meek Mill albums just never come up in conversation. But I recently discovered a series of mixtapes that had me completely reconsidering the role of a producer in hip hop, and maybe even music as a whole. This is a story about Meek Mill, a kid from New Jersey, and the timeless, spiritual power of music as a form of storytelling. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you need quick, easy, and delicious meals delivered to your door that you can cook yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com slash volksgeist14 and get 14 free meals plus free shipping. We'll talk more about that later. I literally did a poll on my Instagram saying, agree or disagree, everyone knows Meek Mill, but he's no one's favorite. And 90% of people agreed. But here's the thing, I actually love Meek Mill's music. His story is inspiring, he's from basically the grittiest, roughest place in Philly, and he's a great rapper. His music is hard as hell, and it's inspiring, he's honestly got one of the best stories in all of music. Or at least, I love the idea of his music. See, I don't even really listen to Meek much anymore these days, even though I do think DC4 is one of my favorite projects. Because yeah, he has that insanely hungry work ethic and spirit that comes through in his music, but at the same time, I feel like these days, he's basically running out of stuff to rap about. He's not as relatable anymore. The rags to riches storyline kind of hit the point where it's all riches, which is fine and great. But my favorite type of music is the type of music that makes me feel something or tells a story. And a lot of Meek's songs from the last few years just don't do that. Some of them do, but a lot of them don't. So I get why 90% of my poll feels the way they do. Even seven years ago, people online were writing stuff like this. If you go back and watch Meek's freestyle videos from when he was a young teen, you'll see just how poor he was and his area was. That being said, he had that hunger, that desire to get out. And once he side to MMG, the desire was fulfilled and he basically had nothing else to talk about aside from his roly, bad bitches, loud, and bottles. Either way, it is what it is. Unless he completely changes his style, his career will flame out. It's practically inevitable. Another person said, Meek is alright as a feature, but he can't carry a solo project whatsoever. One more person said, I'll pass on nearly all his material. To put it the short way, I would say Meek Mill is 20% amazing and 80% reused bars or lazy songs. And a lot of other people feel the same way. I guess I would say I like the idea of Meek Mill more than the actual music. His story is inspiring for sure, but his music hasn't really changed or evolved too much over the course of his career. And I don't really feel motivated to listen to him that often anymore. With the bars sounding the same a lot of the time, why bother? Here's the thing though. I was on YouTube late one night a few months ago and I saw this thumbnail. For whatever reason, I clicked on it and my perception of Meek Mill was changed forever. Listen to this. It's Meek Mill, but it's also not. What you just heard is an old, old recording of Meek Mill rapping on the streets of Philly. I'm pretty sure it's from 2005, when Meek was maybe 18 years old. Well, that's half of it. It didn't originally have that soulful beat under it. It was originally an acapella freestyle. That beat came from Knowledge, a producer from New Jersey, outside Philly, pretty much. Listen to the original. It's just a freestyle. And look, there are a lot of these. Knowledge has been making these remixes for the last almost four years now. He's released six mixtapes dedicated to Meek Mill, all posted first on Bandcamp and now available on Spotify. Each eight tracks long, full of the strangest, most melodic, atmospheric moments I've ever heard. Listen to this section from MMG off volume one. The guitar circling the mix, fading in and out alongside a melancholy xylophone in the left channel, while a quiet brush drum sits on the right side, and ambiance from Meek's friends sits at the bottom. This is Meek Mill, but it also isn't. And it adds so much more dimension to his rapping, while also reducing it to something really simple. Because that spirit of Philly is still there. That urgency in his rapping, the storytelling of life and death and rags and riches, with the air horns, booming bass, action movie sound effects, and Meek's trademark yelling into the mic, it's just gone. Knowledge's remixes are fuzzy. The nostalgic melodies are made possible only by extensive sampling from soul, funk, disco, and pop records. It gives the projects a profound, cinematic, realistic, and personal feeling. And the beats are so smooth. It makes it almost too easy to forget what Meek is actually saying. I mean, how often do you hear someone rap about how his mom was on crack over what is basically a vaporwave beat, slap bass and fruity synths included? Uh. Bitch, you feel the real nigga Grammys. 
We'll be by rollies and treat them like trophies. You'll never understand me. You don't come where I come from. Niggas on tannies. Mommy on crack. How we gonna feed the family? I mean, this goes hard, but Jesus. And there are genuinely a lot of emotional, if not spiritually profound moments on these mixtapes. You listen to something like Same Old Meek, which is probably the most popular track out of the series, and man, that song has made me cry before. Just listen to what he's saying, the way the bass and drums weave in and out. But at the same time, if you're watching this video and feeling like you somehow missed these remixes, that's just not the case here. The majority of these tapes have barely been listened to at all, let alone got a significant amount of attention from hip hop fans online. Volume 1 has no more than 30,000 or so streams on each song. Same for 2, 3, and 4. Volume 5 and 6 are a bit higher production value, and they do have more streams, maybe six digits on average, and even volume six has a track with almost two million plays. But that's really it. You go on YouTube, Reddit, Twitter, there's not really much of a footprint for this series except um, maybe this Twitter interaction that summarizes pretty much everything I've talked about in this video so far. In all, I think Meek Mill can be an amazing lyricist. Not always, but sometimes he says things that really stop and make you think about the fleeting nature of life, the importance of family and loyalty, and you know, his story is really inspiring. He's really been through it. But you know, like we saw earlier, Meek is the kind of rapper everyone knows, but he's hardly anyone's favorite. His story just doesn't hit as hard when he makes basically the same three songs over and over for the last 10 years. But the way knowledge lets Meek's freestyles breathe, he sounds so much more lively and you can actually stop and appreciate his bars because a lot of the time they're amazing. You just wouldn't know when his voice is screaming loud as fuck over beats that essentially sound like the hip hop version of a Michael Bay fight scene. So to me, it's incredible how knowledge has been able to completely transform Meek's music into these beautiful transcendent moments of jazz, soul, and funk dotted with some of Meek's most memorable bars ever most of them from when he was young, hungry, and still unproven. Of course, I reached out to Knowledge for a comment on this video, but while I was trying to reach him, I quickly realized not even Knowledge is a Meek fan anymore. Being able to completely change the sound and meaning of someone else's work and somehow make it better and more powerful in the process is a testament to an incredible dedication to his craft, and I don't think it would be wrong to call this one of the most powerful hip-hop experiments ever. While most of Meek Mill's actual music is harder, louder, and faster than anything Knowledge was able to mold his freestyles into, to me these versions feel so much more sensitive, real, and powerful than anything Meek has ever released to the public on his own. But whichever version you prefer, I think we can all agree on one thing. Meek's talent for storytelling is powerful and terribly underrated. The way he depicts Philly is gritty, emotional, and true to life, and hopefully with Knowledge's help, his words will stand the test of time and continue to inspire fans for years and years to come. This has been Volksgeist. Thank you for watching. I'm not gonna lie, I have terrible ADHD. But my secret to productivity is routine. If I can build a routine to reliably stick with every day, it makes doing what I actually want to do way easier because I don't have to debate with myself on what to eat for dinner for two hours every single night. And that's just one of the reasons why I love HelloFresh and I'm super excited to be sponsored by them. HelloFresh offers tons of really delicious meals. Seriously, every single one of their meals tastes fresh and flavorful. Secondly, it's quick. You just get the food delivered right to you and you can cook it right away without having to go to the grocery store, forget ingredients and get confused choosing which head of lettuce looks the best. None of that. One of my other favorite features of HelloFresh is sustainability. They send the exact right amount of ingredients to cut down on wasted food, their packaging is either recyclable or made from recycled materials, and a study from the University of Michigan found that the carbon footprint from HelloFresh meals is 25% lower than that of store-bought groceries. To me, HelloFresh seems great for students who don't have a lot of time to cook, but just aren't willing to settle for the bare minimum noodles every single day. People like me who work a lot and don't always have the time or energy to go grocery shopping, or just anyone who wants fresh, delicious, easy to cook meals delivered to their door. And honestly, the direction on these recipes are so easy to follow, it's pretty relaxing to take a break from working on videos and just make some food from HelloFresh. So go to hellofresh.com slash volksgeist14 and get 14 free meals delivered to your door with free shipping.